Today's Sunshine Note is titled, The Worst Home Remedy in Palestine. Jesus took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. Then, spitting on the man's eyes, he laid his hands on him and asked, Can you see anything now? Mark chapter 8 verse 23 Tofu was her medical suggestion for every ailment imaginable. Just a fatty white slab of tofu. Have a third degree burn? Smash some tofu onto that charred skin, she would advise, and in less than a day the skin will be good as new. Struggling with acne? Rub some tofu on your face, of course, and it will be cleared up by morning. This poor, well-meaning woman truly believed in her tofu home remedies. But I have to say I was a little less than impressed. Home remedies, as a general rule, have not ever been the way to go in my family. Instead of tofu, Aunt Sharia swears collodial silver is the ticket. Just a spoonful of silver makes any sickness go down. And then there were the days when giant mushrooms, the size of dinner plates, floated in vats of water in the kitchen because Aunt Ross insisted that drinking the water would bring us health. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and vote no on home remedies. But it almost seems as if Jesus tried one of them when he spit on the poor man's blind eyes. Using spit was a traditional healing method of Jesus' day, a well-known home remedy, if you will, even though in our day and age it sounds pretty gross. It seems funny that Jesus, who could have healed the man with a word or touch, first employed a popular healing method of the times. It's as though he's trying to say something. He spits on the man's eyes and asks if he can see anything, and the man can make only vague shadows of people walking around. So Jesus puts his hands on the man's eyes a second time, just his hands now, and the man can finally see. Do you think perhaps Jesus was hinting that traditional ways are not always best? God's ways always turn out far better and more effective than our own ways ever could. Remember this the next time you catch yourself stubbornly trying to do something your own way instead of God's way. Your own way is kind of like spit or tofu or giant mushrooms or silver. It's really not the best thing there is. Also, the world will forever try to compete with God, telling you that their way is far better than his old ways. But don't believe it. The world offers only mere shadows of what Jesus can do for you. So give God's way a try instead, and you'll see that they always bring the truest healing and most satisfaction in the end. May God bless you today.